Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the 360s. Call of our sprint cars. First of four qualifiers, second round, eight laps on the point. It'll be the eight of Ryan Gilmore to his outside, the 44 of Daniel Carey. Row two, the 11 of Talon Lawson. It doesn't look like he's gonna make it out. The 35 of Ethan Weber. Justin Rice in the 107. Michael Maggard, who won his heat in 160. Let's see how they roll off. It looks like maybe there were some changes that happened over in the staging lane. And it looks like the 44 of Carey. There we go. Everybody is there. They'll get settled in. It'll be lights off at the line. Eight laps of excitement. Your Pro Clone 360s. Remember, try to lock into that A and get up in the first two or three rows. Don't run the hooligan race. Here they come. Gilmore and Kerry Green is out. Alan Lawson now, the signature teammate to Gilmore this weekend, will bring them down one and two at the line. Carey riding in third now, while the 35 of Weber hold back in fourth. Carey trying to make a move. Weber goes along with him. Michael Maggard looking for running room, the Springfield veteran. Gilmore's got his hands full as Lawson goes around in turn two. Yellow flag coming out. Three down as the lights go off. Oh yeah, just the way they like it. Nice and easy and then mash the gas. Green back in the way. Magger trying to work the inside of the 35 of Lawson. It looks like neither one, both of them coming out for the worst for wear. It's still Gilmore and Carey one and two all over in your first round of heats for your 360s. Carey now gets to the inside of Gilmore, as does the 35 of Weber. We've got one to go. Carey out of Boonville making a strong showing this weekend. We'll take the heat race win. Weber followed by Maggard and Gilmore. Heat race number two, Austin Banker in the 68. Austin Harold in the 32. Drew Castile in the 12C. Jordan Jones in the 18. And Robert Taggart in the 25L. Eight laps your distance. Nice and easy. Banker bringing them down. Green out. Looks like the 12 going to the infield early. He'll be out of the action. Drew Castile out of Diamond, Missouri with problems. Now, Banker in the 68. He'll be followed by the 32 of Austin Harold out of Springfield. Banker has found this arena to his liking for the weekend. Halfway there, four down, four to go. Banker has got a nice line that I don't see anybody else using all weekend as he'll do a little bit of a drift coming to the high side of four. Meanwhile, Harold has got a handful of Jones in that battle for second. 
Jones looks to the inside of Harrell. Harrell shuts the door on him. Checkered flag is out for Banker. And at the line, it's going to be Harold in the 32, followed by Jones in the 18. Heat number three, roll into the staging lane. Here we go. Jaden Parker out of Liberty in the 39 on the point. Paul Rainey out of St. Louis in the 582. Rich, Ryan Richmond in the 71, not gonna make the call. Michael Covey in the 33 and Arden Jeniton in the 22C. Rich Meyer not making it, but Haynes, Kansas chauffeur out of the action. Here we go. He raced number three of four for your clone division. Jaden Parker bringing them down. I don't think that one's gonna go. Want that front row nice and tight. A little bit of a warning, even though the man on the inside sets the pace, they'll get lights off this time at the line. Jonathan and Covey have been putting on some racing action this weekend. Here they come again. We're gonna give them the green, let them go. Parker, Jonathan, Covey, here comes Covey to the inside. And now Paul Rainey making his presence known as we've got a spinner in turn two. Looking good, it'll be a lights off at the line this time. The 39 of Parker. Holding strong, Covey now. Still back in that number two spot. Rainey, after a bad start on the outside front row, seems like the longer he goes green, the faster that yellow machine gets. Here they come, green back it out. Covey makes the power move out of two. He'll now take the lead over Parker. Michael Calvi looks like he's found his mojo this weekend in that 33. Parker still second, Jonathan now riding back into third spot. Turn two getting a little tricky for the drivers as they come out of it. The track's definitely doing some changing and here comes Jonathan. Ayrton Jonathan now trying to take second away from Parker. Hard battle back there for position. As the checker comes out, Covey will get the win. Parker will finish up in the number two position. And Jennington will finish up in third, it looks like. Right, here's heat number four to your staging lane, your lineup. The winner of his first round of heats, Mike Hellman out of Reed Springs in the 85H. Scheduled to his outside, it's gonna be the 58X of David Beasley. Brian Beasley in the 85. Kyle Schmidt in the 12. JJ Beaver of Knoxville in the 92. Looking good at the stage. Lights off, next time by, we're going green. Your last qualifying heat for the Pro Clone 360s. Riding out of four, green in the air, we're back underway. And it's Reed Springs, Mike Hellman, back to his karting roots, looking in form. Down the front stretch, it's Hellman one. Teammate Brian Beasley now with that number two spot. Keep your eyes on the Arkansas, Kyle Schmidt has Schmidt. Yellow will wave out.
three complete, five to go. Hailman, who forfeited a qualifying spot in the 340, did not make the call, especially after he won his heat in the 360. He knows he's got a good shot for a good position and maybe take that victory tonight on our championship night number two of the Low Boats I-44 Speedway Indoor Winter Nationals. Lights off at the line, here we go. Hailman, after a few years away from the carts, looking strong, he'll be running some late model racing this year, Green back out. Beasley now trying to gain some ground on Superman. They're halfway there. Hailman determined to keep her nice and smooth. Five down, three to go. Beasley second. Schmidt now starting to make a move of that 12. Kyle Schmidt is on the move on Beasley in the battle for second. We've got only one to go. Keep your eyes on the red 85 on the 12. Schmidt looking inside. Here they come. Hailman gets the win. Schmidt will get that number two spot. And Beasley, look at that. Talk about some sportsmanship and hard racing. Giving each other some high fives as Mike Hailman takes the win, making it a clean sweep in his qualifying heats here this afternoon.